Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my stickers at home. Now within this video, I will be using a Cricut Explore Air 2. A Cricut machine or a cutting machine is not necessary to create your own stickers at home, but if you're going to be creating a lot of them, if you're going to be selling them, it makes things a lot easier. Here are some examples of some floral stickers that I've made that will be a sticker pack very, very soon. I will let you guys know when that will be available on my website, but I love them a lot. They are, um, oh, I just made these at home. Obviously, that's the vid what the video's about. But yeah, and then there's these ones that are very, very cute. But in this video, I'm not gonna be making more of those floral stickers. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I turned my one-line drawings into stickers. And they are so, so cute. At least I think that they are. Um, I didn't know if these drawings would translate well into stickers. I didn't know if I should have them on a white background or a clear background, but I'm pretty happy with, I'm pretty happy with how they've turned out. Okay, so before we get started, please, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber, but I'm going to keep putting out videos like this and sharing everything that I can that's related to growing as an independent artist and building a business. Now let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to create some stickers is an image. This can be an image that you found online that you want to use for personal use, or you can create your own work of art to print at home. I just briefly wanted to show you guys how I create my digital drawings. Here's just an example of a one line Rottweiler that I did. And this app that I'm using is actually free. I know a lot of times we see people who create digital art are using an iPad Pro and likely using Procreate, but that isn't the only option for you. This is actually an Android tablet and the app that I'm using is called IBIS Paint. It is free and I haven't had any problems with it. I have actually enjoyed using it a lot. Now, once I have my image, I come over to my little shelf uh, my little workstation that I keep everything I need to package and print orders and my printer sits right below on this rolly little cart so it's easy to get in and out it's pretty heavy and it saves space I like keeping it down there and out of the way the paper that I'm going to be using is actually silhouette paper it's not Cricut paper and you don't need to use the specific brand with the specific machine if it's all preference but this is the sticker paper that I've chosen to pair along with these self-adhesing laminating strips. I like to put this over top. It, it makes the sticker a lot thicker, more durable, and protects the surface and the ink on top. Now I just need to take a single sheet of the paper and it's white on the front, yellow on the back. I do like that about the silhouette paper because you won't ever misprint on the wrong side and it doesn't have branding on the back which is nice as well for customers who receive their stickers they don't need to see whatever brand i'm using all over the back of it now a more tedious part is actually organizing your sticker sheet you can use the Cricut Design Space to do this, but I actually like to create the layout beforehand and make sure that I'm using the most space possible with my stickers. So first, I just take the outline, I clean it up, make sure that everything's okay, and then I will create the same shape of that outline behind it and size it up so it's a lot larger, and that creates a perfect little frame around my sticker, as you can see that I'm doing here. I clean up any of the little mistakes, fill in any of the holes. I like to sharpen the image as well because when you're resizing, a lot of times your image might get a bit blurry. Then I will duplicate and duplicate and duplicate and position them in the best way that I see fit to be able to get as many stickers onto one sheet as possible. 
Once I've got them all laid out, I'll erase any of the little extras that didn't quite fit and then my sticker sheet's all ready. The program that I'm using to edit here is also another free program. It's an alternative to Photoshop and it's called GIMP. So then I bring my image into the Cricut design space. I make sure it's fitted properly on the sheet and get it ready for the printer. Now, if your sticker is colored and the color goes right to the edge of the sticker, you can keep bleed on. This will just ensure that the cut doesn't have any white marks around it, that it adds a little bit of extra ink to ensure a good cut. But I have a white border, so I don't need that. So I turn it off before I click print. Now while this prints out, usually I'll be getting something else ready, probably prepping my Cricut sheet before I stick it down, getting any tools that I need to save time. And here it is. I think that they fit very well on the paper. And the next step is to cover all of those beautiful stickers with the protective laminating sheet. This step is extra. The laminating sheet is not something that's necessary, but it's a good idea to do and cutting it perfectly to size also isn't completely necessary but i don't like to be wasteful i like to save as much as i can and this doesn't take the entire laminating sheet the stickers are only a small portion on the paper so i like to trim it exactly to size this laminating paper is helpful that it's got lines on the back so you've got a bit of reference for where you need to cut if you do choose to trim the paper Be very careful when trimming your paper because you don't want to accidentally cut your sticker sheet. Now once I think I've got it perfect to size, I'll peel the little peely back to start laying it down. Go slow with this part because you don't want to mess it up. I really take my time here. And then once I find a perfect spot, I'll use a little squeegee and I'll peel it back and press out any little bubbles or any imperfections. Now once it's all nice and pressed out, it's ready to stick onto my Cricut mat and then we can get cutting. Now again, if you don't have a Cricut machine yourself, at this part you could just cut out the stickers by hand. I think that that's perfectly fine, especially if they're just for you. Uh, it's not completely necessary for them to be perfectly cut. And there we have it, they're all cut. Now my favorite part is peeling them all up. Always remember if you are doing this with me to bend your Cricut mat and to not bend your stickers. Because there's laminating sheets on these stickers, they're really, really thick and they don't bend easily, but just be careful. There's the little bunnies. I think that these stickers turned out really nicely. They're very small. I just include them in some of the prints that I ship out uh, as a little extra for customers. But I love the way that they look and I'm really happy that these drawings that I made also translated into cute little stickers. 
I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed watching my process. I think I'm going to put out a more detailed video, maybe a more uh, instructional video of step-by-step -step how you yourself should start doing this, and probably a more detailed video about how I use GIMP, how I edit my photos and, and sticker sheets and prints on my computer with this free program that I think is a great Photoshop alternative. I had several fail attempts when learning how to make stickers, so if you're just learning as well and it doesn't work out, don't worry, it's all with practice and I'm just now feeling really confident in my ability to make stickers. And that's everything. That is how I make stickers at home. I have really liked the quality that I've been putting out. I haven't heard anything negative come back from any people that I've given these stickers to. I haven't started selling them because I wanted to wait and make sure that the quality was okay, what price I can price these stickers at will depend on how they hold up and everything like that. There's going to be a little workshopping, but I thought that I should put out a video. I'm still learning, you guys are still learning, so maybe some people can leave comments down below of what's worked for them, what products they found. That would be really nice and helpful for everyone, and I can always do an updated video when I perfect this and i'd be happy to do so thank you so much for watching guys it means the world let me know what you think about these stickers i'd be so happy to hear from you and there will be a few videos that'll come up that you can watch if you'd like to see more of my face and again don't forget to subscribe i hope to see you back here soon bye guys